Hello and welcome, my name is Matrice and welcome to Rocky Desert in Satisfactory. In the last episode we've done a lot of work to get to the conveyor belt level 3. We did a little bit of steel construction, did a little bit of steel beam construction and we died. Now the fun part is I died in a gas field so I cannot loot my own stuff. But in the meantime, I did try it two times and also died one more time. But then I gave up. And in that position, we've upgraded a lot of stuff. So I upgraded a lot of level 3 belts. And as you can see, a lot of things are going pretty fast. But now we're at the next level. We are going to need, well, 25 rotors and I kind of want to set that up so well, the steel beam construction is over here we need to get to the other side of the factory and uh, we got a lot of work to do because what well, we upgraded a lot of stuff and we do need to keep some stuff in mind that our factory is a level factory so Everything is coming up as you can see down below here. I got a little spare plate But the most important thing is the storage container that's below here And it's the one that is bringing us the reinforced plate Now the other thing we have been doing and we had a screw department and a spare screw department because the other one is also running pretty fast as you can see and the spare screw department is why is my rotors not working did i turn them off I don't know let's check out because I want to do have the screws to the second floor and I want to have iron rods to the second floor for the rotor but the fun part is it's not producing and I now see why why would I've done this I have no idea but well I removed the splitters I have no idea why I did that And I guess I need to connect everything back again. Well, at least it's still running. I have no idea why I did that, but I should have had a good reason for that. Well, we need to connect that back again. Alright, let's first connect them all that way. We're doing it the right way, we're doing it the fast way. And now we at least have some iron rods to the second floor. And yeah, it's moving, alright. Now I kind of want to have the same way we've done it here only it needs to be a little bit to the back so I guess we need to place these exactly mapped to to the gay the big hole in the ground or in the in the top floor now the next thing we are going to need to make are the rotors they're going to need well kind of everything from below and the module front but what well, we need a rush for that as well so i'm thinking of bringing some more bars up but for now we're going to focus on the rotors and well because we're going to be able to need them in the future this is really going not that fast even though all the screws are kind of filled up well not not totally filled up as you can see i increased the production well this is kind of the fastest i can go at the moment with the screws and it's going damn fast at least i think it's the fastest way i can go 
Well, maybe we can go a little bit faster by upgrading all the belts. No, this is really the fastest we can go. That That's kind of pity. Because I did have a pretty large backlog. But as you can see, it's not going that well. This needs to be upgraded as well. The rods need to have a little bit of production. Oh man, we need to upgrade a lot of stuff. And you can upgrade stuff just by pressing a higher tier item and just selecting now with these belts you must be careful sometimes it won't upgrade the whole thing but as you can see it is now pretty good backlogged all right so that rod is doing pretty well so let's go upside and let's think this out. I want to have, I think I have four of these. It's kind of funny. So you're waiting for the steel plates. I guess that's kind of problem. Hmm. All right, I need to upgrade that as well because that's now kind of problem. And this is a perfect example where you could forget to upgrade one piece of belt and it would slow the whole section down. And here's another little piece and I guess that's going to be my problem. I guess this is definitely going to be the problem. Oh, a little, 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 little bit of lag. Look like there's a little. That's an MK3. Why is this piece slow? Oh, I'm low on steel bars. Oh man, I didn't even notice that. It's going to be going to take a lot of time before we can even think about upgrading. I guess. What well, we could do it by hand, but that wouldn't be fun because you need to automate. In the end, I want to have some kind of personal storage space. And this one is... Ooh, it has quite a nice backlog at the moment. Look at the view, look at the view. It's beautiful. Alright, we need to take a look if this is going fast enough. I guess it's still not. does have a pretty large backlog and let's try and make this thing a little bit faster let's see how it goes now it's it's still not fast enough i think i need to expand that factory in the near future But for now, uh, let's get to the top because, well, there ain't much I can do at the moment. Kind of strange that this is backed up. Come on, get me to my location. This one is a lot backed up. That kind of interesting. This one isn't. And the other one is. Oh, I think I we see a little unupgraded belt. 
But that's a good thing if that's all uh, backed up. Well, then this one will eventually be as well. All right. Let's go to the top, to the top, to the top, to the top. Uh, I should have a stairway somewhere. Yes, there it is. I built in most corners of my factory. I built those stairways, and they're not all finished yet. But they, they give us a pretty good view of everything. All right. I need to think because this is one big space, pretty big space. Let's see what we need. What do we need? What do we need? I don't know. Right, how big is this anyway? I need frames. I need rotors. Oh my god, I need rotors and frames to produce this. So we cannot even make it those parts. Ah, oh, man. Let's get down and make those manual. We, we want four of these things, so let's see what we need. We need reinforced plate as usual. And for the rotors, well, we can make them, but we need the screws. And the screws is kind of a problem. Well, that one is back, has pretty a large backlog, so. This one? No. Man. You don't even have a backlog. That's kind of strange because I was expecting you to have one. This is going way too slow. Yep, this is definitely going too slow. Let's try and get this thing upgraded. And meanwhile, I am getting all the screws I'm going to need. That one's upgraded. So oh, that should speed things up. And in the meantime, we make our factory a little bit better. Because in the end, we do need every little piece upgraded as well. Now let's check out how it's going. As you can see, this is this is way more fun. So this one should be full. All right, thank you. And I don't need you. I definitely not need you at the moment. And the coal. What do we need? We need reinforced plate. We need iron rods and the reinforced plates as well well that one isn't going that fast lucky we got a little bit backlog and we need to find a way to get that one on top to the top of the world so you're just going to see me make some manual stuff at the moment i know that isn't interesting but i must say this factory is kind of fascinating. I like to hear what you think at the moment. What should I change? What should I do? Because I think I keep it pretty spacey. Uh, let's make 20 of these things. 20 will do. Oh, I made, well, let's make 25. I like round numbers. Yes, thank you. And now we need a rotors and we need to make I wanted to make 25 of them as well, but oh well, we can't have everything, I guess. Got we really run out of screws again. I wonder how far are the next resource because this is all produced by. Well, we could make more. This is kind of interesting. There is. Oh yes, that one is this. Deal. Oh man, that was the last update didn't do that well. At least I think it didn't do that well for performance. As you can see, this cruise is is kind of the biggest problem. I hope. Yeah, we could use the slugs to 
increased performance, but even a better, no, we already use a recipe, so normally you would use iron rods to make the screws, but I think we're definitely going to need, what, well, I was thinking, why is this smelt not getting fat, but it's totally full. This is kind of my storage space of the iron bar, so yeah, we got a lot. But we're already using a lot. So let's get up up to the top because we should have enough for the assembler. Yes, we definitely have enough. This one is going to take a lot of power. So let's also check our power because, well, we're not on fuel yet. All right, at the moment we're doing pretty fine. But once every factory kicks in, we could have a problem. This is my way up. I think it's kind of neat because we got two belts going up at the same way. And I definitely need to try and fix the plate delivery because it's not living up. And as you can see, well, we're definitely not having that much plates. But I first want to get the rotors up because, well, it's kind of fun having rotors. All right, let's see, let's see. We need assemblers, and this one is a one, two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight. Why? We need one for the electricity, and I guess the electricity is going to come on this side. And then we got like one, two, three left. One is the middle, and one, two, three. Let's try and make this nice, needy in this corner. Well, I kind of get it where I want it to be. Alright, so that's the middle one. It's one, two, three. I guess this one is going to be perfectly aligned with that one. And I said we wanted four. This is kind of funny. How can you be aligned but also not aligned? This, oh, I turned it the wrong way. All right. But we could also do it a little bit different because... Well, every resource is coming in on this side. So let's first do two. And I think I'm going to make what kind of two central belts. I think I got a nice idea how I want to do this. But let's see if we can get it. the way I want it to be because, well, you guys are coming in from this side. And because of that, I cannot have you exactly in the middle. Hmm. Oh well, oh well. Let me think this out. I I place one more. No, I'm not going to place one more. We're going to make a little corner here. I'm going to do it first the cheapy easy way. And for the moment we're going to use belt level one because well I'm not sure why. Just because it's under hotkey number three. All right, now they're going to play to you in exactly in the same corner. Yep, you're good, you're good. And you're good as well, all right. 
I know this is, wasn't a smart thing, but I'm going to cut them off in this section. And the reason I do that because I'm never going to feed the belts and I don't want that. That's not something we want. That's definitely not something we want. Now the biggest problem with this, the way I'm doing it now that I cannot, yeah, I can't see for this one. So, lesson number one, always place the belt first, then the splitters, that's the way to go. And that's also do the top one first. But in this situation it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to place them uh, next to each other. Alright, now the only thing we need is kind of the power. And I wonder where I'm going to get the power from because I haven't thought about that. Got power in that section, so let's make a low walking bell. Little foundation height. That way. Well, the power can come uh, in from this way. Where is the main power pole here? Yeah, that one will suffice. Alright, so it's going to do one, two. And now a little walking ramp. Alright, perfect. Kind of want my power always to be a little bit higher. That makes it a little bit easier to get everything. Oh man, I got no copper. I always hate when that happens. Lucky we're just below the copper factory. And it's still a small one, but it, it's still good and nice and clean. Uh, it's somewhere around here. Yes, there it is. I really like the way I'm doing this. So, we're going to set up the rotors and then... Well, it's already the end of the factory. I'm going to build between episodes and next to Tuesday we're going to have a factory tour of what we built so far so I'm going to show you my body where we died I'm going to show you what I did in the meantime because in between we're doing a lot and if you want to see more or uh, more videos of the let's plays let put it in the comment if you like the factory tours I also like to hear about that oh yeah we were looking at this uh, the power section I can make them pretty fast ding 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 I like that the way they did that uh, now let's build ramp section and let's get the power pole up and running and then we can have the rotors up and running we did a lot of stuff in between uh, upgrading everything took us a lot of time. I kind of want to have a separate pole. Yeah, kind of like there. That way this one can still feed the rest of that section. And I know it's three poles between every between every uh, or three foundation between every power pole at least for this one so we're kind of going to do the maximum all right and again the maximum for this one And in between, I am going to set this one to that machine and that one to that machine. So, 
I'm going to put them on and we got the basic on. At least I thought we had the basic running. But somehow the top isn't... Oh yes, we stopped the feeding part. I almost forget about that. Uh, now I need to fix a way how to... Place the last splitters. At least the top one. Yep, that one good. And that one good as well. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this nice short let's play and put your comment down below. I really like to hear from you guys. What do you think? And also check out every factory tour of uh, next Tuesday because well that's when we're going to show up what we did with the frames in between and well I'll definitely have that section done by then because I want to have kind of big bus with the uh, rotors with the frames and the reinforced uh, conquer, uh, reinforced place in between so put the comment down below if you haven't already subscribed it really helps the channel and See you guys all in the next factory tour.